Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all, just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, just simply come back over here, click on this checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just wait. Now you have to just simply search for two things. So first of all, just simply search for the VM instance, open this thing new tab. Now just simply search for the API and here you can see API and services, open this thing new tab. Now come back over here, wait for a second and then click on credentials like this and then click on create credentials. Now click on this API key. Now it Will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just simply come back to the vm instance and then click on this ssh button like this now just wait for a second click on this unwanted pop-up and the connection is established now i request you please pay attention first of all what you have to do in description box i will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now i request you please use a online notepad do not use your personal notepad just use this notepad now what you have to do here you can see export api key just simply come back over here copy this api key just copy this way and just paste between these two inverted comma like this okay is done now what you have to do we have to just simply define the variables so what you have to do just simply come on the task number two and here you can see first of all you can see what we have to define we have to just define the request file name so just simply come back over here and as you can see request file name okay so you have to just copy this file name and make sure that this file name changes every time so just copy like this way you have to just simply check for the request and response so as you can see request file name so just copy that and just put Based between these two inverted comma like this way now what we have to check for response file name of task number two so as you can see speech response so just copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy that full stop just copy like this way come back over here and paste between these two inverted comma like this way now come on the task number three so just simply scroll down and what we have to check for request file name so this is a request file name just copy like this way come back over here and here you can see a request file name just simply paste over here like this way now what we have to check for response so just simply come back over here and where is the response there is okay so just copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy any extra space and this full stop as well okay just make sure of that thing just copy like this way okay copy that come back over here and paste make sure it must look like this if it's so now just copy all this command just copy all this command at a time come back to your sss window like this paste and hit enter and it's done okay now if we just simply come back to the library sections and click on the check my progress for all the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if your score is not updated no need to worry just wait for a couple of seconds and the score will update automatically meanwhile if you just simply click on the check my progress of this task you will get a green tick over here without any issue and as you can see we got a 100 out of 100 and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section and i hope you guys like the way i solve this lab thanks for watching and have a good day guys